Well, we're going to talk about movies again for this week. Yes, um, we are. Thank you guys that enjoyed the first episode and said you'd like more. Again, it's going to be shorter format. Yes. And quickly, we're just going to go, uh, before we get into the show, just kind of recommendations and more recent pickups. And these two aren't movies, but they go with the theme. So With movie themes. Force Friday happened. So we got Cal, I believe is his name. Yeah. Cal from the upcoming uh, new Star Wars game. And we got The Mandalorian, which so, is the one thing you were like the most hyped that, that for. That was the on. thing I was looking for. Now, we're going to just recommend three movies. We recently picked these up. Uh, three movies that are good to watch any time of the year, but really, if you want to get into that Halloween spooky season. Kind of, yeah, spooky, yeah. or if you're really wanting a mind twist of movies, yeah, so, um, these are definitely them. So, go. the first one uh, is The Witch which is a which which um it's a phenomenal film and it really takes place in north american lore yeah. of what witches are because everywhere had different types of witch lore yep. this is very very um north american mm -hmm. driven um but it's phenomenal and again you're gonna notice this cover has the uh foreign markings on there this is from zivi again it's a limited steel book that i ordered because i we just didn't, didn't like one. the covers they like here and i really like that one uh, next up, personally, I talk about this a lot. Yeah, I've talked about, I wake up at like 3 a.m. and I can't sleep. I just think about this movie. We uh, actually had our friend that we told you guys about yeah. literally messaged us <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning, can't sleep, I'm watching this movie. Again. So, Hereditary, again, this is a limited steel book from Zavi again. And uh, you can tell Hereditary, it's like the, the family tree, the Hereditary. Um, yep. It's a great movie. Highly recommend this. Um, yes. You've probably seen some memes out there and been really confused about what what does this mean? Best Halloween couple type thing. Um, the, yeah. These two movies are great companions. They go together real yes. good because they deal with weird stuff. And um, they're also written by. The, the, there's some people that are involved between both of the yeah both of the uh, franchises because uh, witchcraft and whatever. Um, and then third yeah. up. And then the third, we've got the re-release of 4K of The Shining. And again, it's the steel book, and you can tell it's the maze on there with uh, Jack's quote. Yeah, so, it says, uh, Jack is a, uh, all work, no play, j makes Jack a dull boy. Yeah, it says so, it everywhere. It, it's a pretty cool steel book. Um, this is uh, Best Buy, so you can pick this one up in the U.S. Uh, highly recommend The Shining. Um, this is the Kubrick version, not the made-for-TV version. King hates this one. He likes the TV version more. I've seen both of them. I like both for different reasons. So This is the one, though, that if you were wanting to see Dr. Sleep that comes out in November, this, one's this recommended. is the one that you've got to watch to kind of... For people, uh, members of the channel, we'll be reviewing all three of these before Halloween, so watch for that. So, um, yeah, now let's get into the actual show. Inspector Gadget. I freaked <laughs> out when you told me this. So... I obviously grew up when the original Inspector Gadget was a cartoon show and then also got the live, okay, I only talk about number one, uh, the live remake kind of retelling of the Inspector Gadget with Madru Matthew Broderick. Um, absolutely loved it because it's like just a really cool thing. Like, wouldn't you want See, to have cool gadgety things that are able to happen when you say so go, go, gadget? I never jumped on the inspector gadget bandwagon it was like I, I was just like eh like it never appealed to me i i watched a movie since it's come out i think me and you watched it way back i think long i made ago. you yeah. watch it because and you really i, loved I, I that did movie. enjoy it um i think right now i'd probably enjoy it more if i watched it which is something that will happen um i'm assuming it's going to be on like disney plus or something you know or because they're they're going to be doing a remake so it yeah. makes sense um now with this remake I feel like I understand why they're doing this because there is a lot of appeal and technology's advanced so far that you can make it campy yet make it a good modern day version. Oh yeah. But I don't know if that's what people will want. And that's my big like I this is uh, what I would want. Make it modern day, but he is campy. Like literally make it that he is Inspector Gadget the way he was in the nineties, so like his ex extendo arm was like Piping and tubing and stuff. Um, See, I'm and he has to say, go, go, gadget to get it to work. See, I'm literally afraid they're going to do the opposite of that. They're going to try to go t too serious. No. And he's going to be like, almost like that reboot Robocop. You're like, you guys are taking yourself too serious. You missed the under and meta tones of Robocop. Like, I I'm afraid it's going to be that. But then again, 
It's Disney, and mm -hmm. if I want them to do it perfectly, I think they should set it in the 90s and play that nostalgia up. That would play I that factor up, you know? It's, oh my gosh. If they sit there and they do do it 90s, just imagine some of the 90s gadgets that go into him. Moon he, boots! He would have potential moon boots. He could possibly have a Tamagotchi as his watch. Uh, yeah, I went there. <laughs> I went there. A power um, glove just because? A power glove, yeah. No, like, there's a lot that they can do with this, and especially with how technology is. They, from my memory of it, it was back when CG was first starting to get its boom, so a lot of the stuff was actually practical. So, like, when he would throw oh, a yeah. punch, oh, yeah. they had, like, something extending yep. um, and throwing his punch, and I don't remember a lot of the second one. Um, I think I only watched the second one once because I was Never. boycotting it mentally when I was a child because I loved Matthew Broderick, and they changed him. Same reason why I didn't watch George of the Jungle 2, because it oh, wasn't... second one? There was a second one. Because Brendan Fraser wasn't in it, so like, I was one of those kids. I'm like, no, it's... no. You I'm like the OG it, yeah. person, so... So, that's that. Um, As we get more info, we'll talk about it here. So, next up, we're going to transition over to The Matrix. Now, we reviewed the first one for members, yes. reflecting on it on its 20 year anniversary and oh I was like gosh. oh my god it's been 20 years so it made me feel so old yeah it and was 10. now we found out there's two matrix projects in development this was confirmed by the writer of one of them one is a prequel which is apparently starring Morpheus and it's going to be Michael B Jordan from according to all accounts Ooh. so right that's I, great I really like my, uh, Michael uh, B Jordan's god. acting great like. so I want to see that one. But then he said that project is not what he's working on because the Wachowskis are working on an actual Matrix 4. And he's not working on that one. So he's working on a separate one. So it looks like two Matrix projects are moving forward. And this is where I want to talk about it in a different way. I want Matrix 4 because it's like, yes, all those characters. I want to see what's happened to the world. Is humanity creating the same mistakes? Are we, yeah. When we're free from Zion, like, what is happening? What's the world like? like there's such yeah. cool concepts to explore there. And it's that cyberpunk mm -hmm. that I want to see. Because it's so deep after everything's been taken over. I'm like, yeah. there's a cool concept there that I want to explore, you know? Especially because it's like a lot of these people are either unplugged or mm -hmm. they are born without the plugs. And so you're wanting to sit there and they're probably the recent unplugged ones are probably going to sit there and be like, you have to get them to now reintegrate thinking yep. that they have been living in this real world right. and they have it. And not only that, there will be a huge amount that's like, plug me back in and wipe me. I yeah. do not like this. Why would I want to eat crappy rice bean stew that tastes like garbage every day? I want to go eat pizza. It's like, just the same as the first guy. Right. Like he sat there, he's like, I know this is all in my head, but I like the taste of yeah, this. Yeah, so that movie I'm really excited for. Now, the prequel, it intrigues me because we know the end story, so yeah. we know how it goes. And if it's him searching for Neo, if that's the, because that's got to be the journey, right? Like, I, cause that's I wonder kind of if it. it's going to be how he figured out to get out. Maybe, because yeah. Because he was pulled out by one other. Mm. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, like he was pulled out by the original I, one. We haven't watched two and three in a long time. We're going to watch and review it for the channel. So yes. it's been a while, so I can't remember it correctly, I, but yeah. I think, I think there the is that aspect. The one. I, so it's like, I want to see how they play that out. My only thing is, again, it comes with that like stigma, like Solo did as well, where it's a prequel and a lot of people are like, we know how it ends. And it's pointless. But I think there's a way to enrich the universe. Oh, yeah. Which I, I always like about prequels. I'm one of the few people that actually really likes prequels. Like, even in the Underworld, my favorite Underworld movie is the prequel one. Even though I know where the story goes. I'm just like, you know, I'm a sucker for those types of movies. Yeah, so. especially because it does. It does exactly what you just said. It enriches the world. It's like, dialogue can do one thing. Mm -hmm. But being able to visually see it is something totally different. Yep. Um, and that's actually why the Hobbits did so well from Lord of the Rings. Like, you knew that Bilbo went on a journey and he had he got the ring. And, like, and, my favorite Lord of the Rings movie is the first Hobbit. Like, that's yeah. absolutely my favorite one. So and it does. It really enriches the world. And then 
if you didn't want things like that that were enriching the world, then we wouldn't have so many of My, them being done. Right. Like, look at Lord of the Rings is getting a prequel. A TV series. Game of Thrones is getting Game two Thrones. prequels. Like, like, I, I think that is a thing, and I'll just, I guess I'll leave it at this one with The Matrix. Um, If they can make Morpheus on a cheap for a hundred million ish and then spend their 300 million on matrix four that's how they should do it oh that that's but how they'll do not they'll give morpheus awesome. more than a hundred million because it is not going to make back core matrix money it's a no. prequel so you have to gauge that properly um which yeah. and speaking of prequels let's jump to sequels and talk about star wars uh it's like two months away and we know nothing, nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Which oh, is actually nothing? good. Like, yeah. that was the great thing about, like, Endgame. We literally went into that so blind, and the Russo brothers, like, sitting there screaming at us, You're on this is only, like, the first 20 minutes, yet it really wasn't because there was things that was an but hour they faked the CG completely with scenes, so technically yeah. they were telling the truth. My hope is Star Wars is doing that, and now that the Force Fridays went by, yep. um, we're start, like seeing merchandise, we're seeing things pop up, and we're like, Trying to, like, you're trying to sit there and you pinpoint and be like, okay, like, there's a little bit of a difference here. Like, Kylo's figure of of this particular series. Well, he's got the cracks uh, and everything. Yeah, yeah, which is something we're like, oh, okay, we know because of the trailer. Yeah. They're doing a really good job of hiding that. Mm -hmm. It's like, if it was in the trailer, it's in and a toy version. And what I really like is also, they haven't spoiled upcoming toys, which happens a lot. Oh, like, yeah. We know the Emperor is back, most likely Luke also, yeah. but there's no toys of them. Which I like, again, because they're playing it super smart, because, um, like, some previous movies, I, I don't remember, like, episode three. I think I knew, like, every single character that's in that movie because of every toy they wanted out because yeah. they would just storm the shelves with the most useless garbage. Now they're a little bit more reserved, oh, yeah. which I kind of like, and they do, like, the more proper waves, um, and... I guess the next trailer is rumored for sometime in the next month. I think I would safely assume it's going to come out around the time that they launch Disney Plus. Yes. And perfectly a month before, so you can also watch it when you watch The Mandalorian. Oh, It'll yeah. It'll be right there in the little Star Wars tab, you know? Like, it, yeah, that'll be very smart advertising. And I feel like the next wave of toys, we're not getting until the movie's been out for almost, I'm going to safely say almost a month. Oh, um, to guarantee. Oh, my because God. Because yeah. there, there's a lot of rumors in that that we've heard and things that have been confirmed. Like, why are we getting all of the themes back from all of the right. other movies? Why does John Williams have to re-record them all for this movie? Like, there's a lot of stuff happening in here. Um, so then, what other of these toys are they going to turn around and re-release as they're these characters either young or old or something like it's the malibu stacy simpsons problem they gave malibu stacy a new hat and everybody smithers and we need that new malibu stacy they know how to get us like they're gonna re-release this damn mandalorian in like a year and he's gonna have like red on this and i'll be like i need it because you know that that's how he, it works with he, these damn things he almost got the kylo ren Almost, wait, but I was like... Because of the, the... And he was like... Uh, I'll wait. Head. I'll wait. I got the other two. So, uh, I, I'm saying... I think... I hope that they really don't push a lot of content out there. I want to go into this knowing everything I've seen and that's it. Keep it as secret as possible. I, I, I think this is actually probably going to be one of the best movies that they'll be able to do that because of Disney Plus releasing a month prior. Like, if we didn't have Disney Plus and The Mandalorian, and then they're going to be hyping the heck out mm. of all of the content that is going to be on Disney Plus, I feel like we would have had maybe two or three more trailers because that would be what is leading us into that hype. Right, but they're putting such a focus on there that they can lay back on this and trickle out just the bare minimum to get the conversation going. Because, like, and a picture leaks. It's everywhere. Star Wars is trending. I'm like, yeah, they, they're doing that end gaming. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're doing this extremely smart, especially because it is the end of a saga. Yeah. Like, so. the actual end. Not end game, end and continuing. This yeah, is this the is end ending. of the Skywalker saga. So, so. yeah, um, just a little bit more time. We're like seven weeks or something <gasps> now. Uh, we'll all be watching it. We'll obviously be talking about it on here. So um, Probably still in costume. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching our second episode here. We'll be back next week with another one, and hopefully there's a lot of stuff. I was going to add Spawn in this week, because uh, McFarlane's like, 
There's gonna be a spawn verse. No, there ain't. You can't even get $5 million to fund that first film that doesn't even feature Spawn. There ain't gonna be a Spawn verse. I was gonna say. That's if, the topic. Who? Seth MacFarlane. He gets what he wants now. But not Todd. Not, not Todd, Todd. MacFarlane. 